Hey everyone, in this video I will quickly show you how you can access your media stored on your SD card in your Xiaomi Mi Drone uh, without removing the SD card by simply using the Wi-Fi connection uh, created by the transmitter with the Wi-Fi dongle. If you don't have this Wi-Fi dongle, this video is not for you, but if you have it, this is a very simple and easy hack that will uh, make your life with the Xiaomi drone much easier. So, as usual, you have uh, gone and taken some pictures and videos with your drone and now you come home, you start the transmitter it's on, you turn off your on, on your drone Let it connect. It will take a second. Uh, sorry for the shaky video, but I don't have my uh, camera stabilizer with me. I'm using my phone to record this. So now you can see the uh, power button turned white. So it's connected. Uh, the Wi-Fi dongle creates a Wi-Fi hotspot, which you can use to connect Guess how? With your computer. So, the next part I will show you uh, with the screen recording of my computer, okay? Okay, everyone, so all you have to do after you turned on your transmitter, turned on your Mi drone, and use the Wi Fi dongle with the transmitter, not the USB cable. We need the Wi-Fi dongle because it creates the Wi-Fi hotspot which allows us to connect with the computer to the, to the drone, to the drone camera, to the storage inside the drone camera. All you have to do is click on your available Wi-Fi connections, click on the Wi-Fi connection created by your drone. In my case it's MIRC some numbers click connect wait a few seconds until it connects it takes a while sometimes the transmission speed is not so great but for transferring videos and, and, and photos it's more than enough so we will wait a few seconds just ignore the, the Slovak uh, language uh, on the screen it's my native language Okay, we are connected now. So, open your favorite uh, browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can do with Edge or, or Safari or whatever. And open this exact IP address. 129.168.1.1 point 10 as you can see I have done it before so you can see it in, on, in the screen and hit enter and voila you will be presented with a web page created by the web server inside the, the drone and nothing here is of uh, real interest to us but this folder the first folder DCIM it's where your videos your preview videos and images are stored the other other folders i have checked several times they are always empty so you click tsim 100 media and voila here are your photos and videos that you have created if you want to download those just click on a video and you will be presented with the save as dialog I won't save it but it works same with images you can click on it and it will display the image oh that's unfortunately me sitting on my desk and you can cl right click and save picture as uh, the download speed is around I can we can check it download speed is around 700 kilobytes per second so not really fast but it's much easier 
then removing the SD card from the gimbal uh, and then finding the, the USB SD card adapter for your computer if you don't have a, a reader and lots of troubles with this this is much easier much faster and you get the content you have filmed or the photos you have taken with your drone directly to your computer so I will cancel this because I have those videos already in my computer so as you can see not not much more to do here just access through a web page created by the drone to your media so I hope this helps have a nice time bye see you next time